Hello everybody! Uh, if you guys are normal viewers, I promise normal content is coming soon. Don't worry about that. I just have to get this out there because I really wanted to do this this time around. Last year when we went to Comic Con, we had a lot of people who were asking a lot of questions about how we made stuff and about how we plated beer cans on and you know, our ideas and stuff like that. So I'm in my new creative room that has currently been torn to shit. I have a brand new phone with ultra high resolution, so Hopefully this is fun for you guys. It doesn't look terrible. I look just as ugly in high definition, don't worry. Um, I have stuff going in the background, so that's my 3D printer I literally just got. So that's going to be annoying, but I can't stop that from printing to make these videos. So we, me, my father, my little brother, are coming again to Indianapolis Comic Con this Friday because I'm going to be posting these videos kind of in a sequential order. I'm going to be walking you through my outfit pieces. Uh, I'm still currently building some of them, so every piece is going to have kind of its own video, and we'll go from there. So in this video, I'm going to showcase my chest piece, and I'll have a final video where the whole suit's together. Uh, I'll probably drop that the day we arrive at Comic-Con, just because I can, and I think that'll be the best day for it. So I will have videos all this week. The best of 2023 is coming soon. I'm still working on it. It's just this took my priority and I really wanted to make these videos this time around. So I'm going to show you guys my chest piece. Okay, so this is my chest piece. Um, it is built from a template. All of my pieces are going to be built from a template just because I would much rather pay someone $3 for a sheet of paper that tells me exactly what I need to do in order... To figure this stuff out, especially when it comes to trying to do something as close to a lore-based piece as possible. So I'm making a Tacticus uh, Warhammer 40k armor set that we're going to plate with beer cans like we did with the Wizard and the Knight and the Squire last year. Uh, eventually those will have their own showcases, I'm sure. But this is my chess piece, so I am a little disappointed in a couple of my seams. Uh, as you can see in there, it's got a nice toilet seat for a helmet. This is where my head goes, obviously. The front looks great. I'm really happy with the front. I had a lot of problems with this template, and I thought that I'd have to size the template up. So I sized the template up to 125%. That was a bad idea. Uh, here's some pictures on screen, how that ended up looking on me. I didn't make the full suit, thankfully. So. This is a lot of foam. This is a lot of foam. And the 125% one was even more. So I salvaged what I could from that after I took it apart. Like you can still see some of my like shoulder pieces right there. I, I salvaged what I could uh, to make this one, which ended up being a lot. There's a lot of foam here. Uh, let me show you guys the side. So the side looks good too. At least this side does. So there's my, where my arm goes, and then we'll have a pauldron here that really covers this bit. Um, I'm happy with how this kind of ended up. I like I like it. It's just there's a couple of imperfections in some of the seams that I'm going to have to caulk out. But other than that, let me show you the other side. Other side is nice. I like it. I don't think we're going to do beer cans on the, the rings. I think that might just be a flat black or a... Or a, one of our signature blues, but I, I don't know. The back is where we, we, we have some problems. So, firstly, the collar piece for this template did not fit all the way around. So I had to add a corner chip in, which didn't fit that great, as you can tell. Uh, I was using poster board pieces and stuff to just kind of figure out the shape of this to make it fit. It didn't fit, obviously. But it lined up well enough with this that I was okay with it. And this is my back. So a lot of people aren't going to be looking at my back. And especially not in photos. So I'm not that worried about it. So this, yeah, it sucks. But I can sand this out and I can caulk it and make it look somewhat presentable. Same thing here. These two pieces didn't meet. I had to add this little extra line in there. And it's kind of offset. I don't know if you guys can tell that. But this will be plated in beer cans. That will be hidden. I'm not worried about that. This is where we really came into some problems. So... This, these three pieces are a part of the template. All of these pieces are not a part of the template. There was a gigantic hole between this piece, 2E, and my bottom seams down here. So I had to 
really fuck with some poster board to get it to fit. And as you can tell, I'm gonna have to cut some of it off because there's some corners here that I'm gonna need. But I had to add four whole pieces to this to make sure there's not a gigantic hole because there was a gigantic hole and it was kind of annoying, but that's the back piece. I don't, I'm not incredibly happy with the back, but I'm very happy with the front. The front is exactly the look I was going for. It looks great from the sides. As long as you're not looking at my back, this piece is great. Um, so when I come back to this, you're gonna see it cocked up and plasti dipped, so it's gonna be completely black. And I will showcase it again then. I will see you guys in maybe a jump cut. All right, so I let this big old guy sit overnight after I cocked it up and plasti dipped it a little bit, so it didn't quite get as covered as I wanted it to with the plasti dip, but that's okay because everything on this is either gonna be plated in cans or painted blue or a subsequent metallic black, so. I think it looks pretty good. You can still see some of my indicator marks, but that's fine. I don't have that many cans of Plasti Dip. I had three, and I think I used a whole can on this, so um, I'm not going to go buy more just to get it blacker, even though I'm going to be painting it again. So, not too worried about it. So, one more jump cut away, everybody, and we'll see this bastard with some cans on it. Hope you're enjoying the video. Okay, so you're going to hear me through, like, my microphone at my computer and not on the actual video of this, but... This is pretty close to the end of the chest piece. Uh, I've got the cans put on the back and the front, and I've got the first layer of blue on there. I want to paint that collar black still. Haven't got around to it, but I don't have any more time to show you guys what the chest piece is going to look like until the final video uh, that this series is going to have. So for right now, I'm going to leave it as is here. Uh, there's a couple more pictures flashing up on screen right now of just kind of like the progress work and stuff like that. But in the final build video that I release, you guys will see the final chest piece. But this is pretty stinking close. I would say this is 98.5% uh, finished. It's just I need that extra layer of paint for the blue and I need that, uh, that color to become a metallic black. Other than that, this piece is done. Thank you guys for watching. I will try to have another episode tomorrow on this. At least I am entirely planning on it being so. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you guys want to keep up on this kind of stuff. And I will hopefully see you guys tomorrow. Peace for now. Bye.